We're here today to do a review of the Kamado Joe Smoker. Now certainly when you're out on the market looking for a smoker, you're going to find there's a lot available. And certainly Kamado Joe has some advantages over the competition, so we're going to go over those features with you. First and foremost, the owner of Kamado Joe, when he came to market with this product, brought together a focus group of people that had owned smokers their entire lives because he wanted to find out what features they most wanted to see on this new product offering. So we're going to go through those features with you. As we look at the unit, you're going to notice it's got a cast iron lid as well as a cast iron nest. And you'll also find that this unit is equipped with large casters. Large casters that are going to make this unit easier when you're rolling it over tile in your backyard. Another feature the focus group was intent on is having casters that could lock into position. As we look at the unit, we're going to notice these bamboo handle as well as bamboo side shelves that are finished to look like teak. We're also going to notice this large temperature gauge. One of the things the focus group really wanted to see was a large temperature gauge that was extremely accurate. It can show you temperature ranges of 100 degrees where you'll be when you're smoking meat all the way up to say 600 degrees where I'd cook a pizza and all the way up to 8 or 900 degrees where you can sear steak. Another one of the features of this unit I want to bring mention to is the thickness of the sidewalls. The thicker the sidewalls are on the unit, the better and longer that this egg can store heat. And what that in turn means is that the unit is actually more fuel efficient. The better the sidewalls can store heat, the slower your lump charcoal is going to burn, and the longer your charcoal is going to last. Now lump charcoal differs from match light charcoal in a number of ways. For one is it's completely natural charred wood that gives the food a really great smoky flavor. Completely different than match light charcoal since match light charcoal contains chemicals that we don't necessarily want radiating into our food. Some of the newer features you're going to find on the latest Kamado Joe, they feature a catch-all that can capture the ash as you pull it out of the basin. They also have a spark arrestor across the front door. Kamado Joe has also recently introduced the divide and conquer great system, which I'm not going to be demonstrating here today since we're going to be cooking a pizza on this Kamado Joe. Now the pizza stone is an accessory that can be purchased. I highly recommend it. These units are really good at cooking pizzas. If you're at all familiar with pizza ovens, you're going to find that there are a number of companies that are offering brick oven pizzas for your backyard. Those can typically range anywhere from nine to ten thousand dollars and up. And what's so amazing about the Kamado Joe is you can get the same quality pizza out of this unit as you can those really high-end pizza ovens. I'm going to be using fresh pizza dough that I picked up from Trader Joe's, but you can also get dough from a lot of your popular pizza places. In addition to that, we use cornmeal. We put a liberal amount of that down on the pizza stone. That's going to keep our dough from sticking to the pizza stone. It's also going to give our crust a great taste. All right, now I got my Kamado all preheated, and you're going to notice that as I got the unit up to 600 degrees, I started to close down the air gap at the bottom and also on the top. The less air we allow to travel through the Kamado will drop the temperature slowly. So now that I got it up to 600 degrees, I put a little bit of my cornmeal on the pizza stone. And I've got my pizza here, which is fresh dough, fresh grated mozzarella, pepperoni, and sausage. We're going to go ahead and put this on our Kamado pizza stone. It's running at about 610 degrees and it'll take about 12 minutes to 13 minutes to have this pizza all cooked up and ready for us. All right, now we are just going to wait about 12 to 13 minutes and our pizza will be ready to go. All right, now it's been about 13 minutes. We're going to go ahead and pull our pizza right off the Kamado Joe here. As you can see, it comes out nice and beautiful, very crisp crust. The reason you can't achieve something like that with a convection oven is because the heat source is the same and basically the cheese and the toppings are going to burn and the crust is still going to come out doughy. The genius of the Kamado Joe is the indirect heat cooks the crust and the topping at just the right proportion 
so you get a perfect pizza. Purchase your Kamado Joe from KitchenFoundry.com. All advertised items are in stock. We ship on the next business day. We have the KJ23NB and the KJ23NR. These are going to be the eggs that can go into the teak tables, which we also carry. That is the KJTT. And we also have the KJSST stainless tables. If you're looking for the unit cradled in the nest, that's going to be the KJ23R for the red unit, the KJ23B for the black unit. Visit kitchenfoundry.com.